The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Let me bring my great friend on, Mike Volin. Mike Volin is the founder of Where's the uh, Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. Mike Volin, are you there, my friend? I certainly am, Paul. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. And listen, uh, Mike, you've been in this fight for a long time. You've accomplished some amazing things. Uh, tell the folks uh, where they can find you. Give them, I just said your website, but repeat that. And then tell the folks what you've got going on in Washington, D.C., how that's going, and how my listeners can be a part of that with you if they would like to. Absolutely, Colin. I appreciate the time. Website is where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. You can uh, contact me through the contact me form or Mike at where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. What we've done over the last year is create what's called a sheriff's kit. It is the um, what the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has produced, proving that the White House the web, web birth certificate on the White House website is a forged and phony birth certificate right. plus other documents like the selective service stamp and other things does that People sheriff's can. does that sheriff's kit include the 200 point affidavit that uh mike zulo filed with the alabama supreme court yes it does it's all downloadable uh on my website it's okay. in, it comes out in 57 pages okay it includes all the videos the press conference the original uh, the second press conference and the one that Mike gave at the Constitutional Sheriffs over this last summer in Missouri. Okay, so tons of evidence on 57 pages, all of it uh, law enforcement evidence. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. What we're doing now, Paul, is we're going to Washington, D.C. Since this controversy started, I started my website in 2007. We have no idea where this man came from or who he is, and there's always been a controversy. We've never had any solid proof. After the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office investigated and came up with the investigation, we created the sheriff's kits, and they're now available. This is our chance, Paul, and I appeal to all your listeners. We're going to Congress. We've got nowhere over the years. There's court case after court case after court case didn't produce anything. Now we are at the doors of Congress. We're at the steps of Congress. I have a cadre of people coming from all over the country. We're going to present kits. We have numerous appointments with congressmen and senators. We're going to go in there and present the kits, and we're going to ask them to do their job. What your audience can do, Carl, is download a sheriff kit, and um, you can present it to their congressmen, their reps in their area. I've coached people uh, one by one. If you go to my website, Carl, there are pictures all over my website of people getting kits, downloading them, and presenting them to their representatives and senators. The other thing is, on the click to download the sheriff's kit link, you'll get, you'll come to a drop box. There's a letter to Steve Stockton. He's the uh, one that Mike Zulu originally approached, and uh, everybody seems to think that he's uh, sort of spearheading this. There's a letter in there, and you can fill out the letter. You can email it back to me, or you could send it to Stockman and your representative as well. I have a ton of letters that people have downloaded and sent back to me. I'm going to hand deliver them the stockman's office we want to overwhelm his office we want to show a overwhelming support that the people have his back so we can get some traction on this call okay now you've got people that are actually flying from various places around the country to come to this rally that you've put together you've got people coming in uh on a, on a bus and, and so you've got a good group of people that are coming from around the country and going to join you and you have some appointments already lined up with several congressmen right yes we do we have people flying in from california uh from with buses from wisconsin from Oklahoma, from Florida, and we're all meeting in Washington, D.C., the 18th and 19th. It's not too late if you want to join. We have a block of hotel rooms, and if you want to join us, I have a number on the website. It's 570-394-2570. It's right there on the website. I answer all calls. I answer all emails. It's not too late to join us if you'd like, and it's right there in the middle of the website. Okay, fantastic. Tell the people your website again, Mike. 
It's where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. Okay. Where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. That website has been up since two thousand seven. And so uh, you put it just if you can't remember that, if you're driving home right now and you don't have anything to write with, you can remember something like that and just put it in Google and it'll come up. It'll be at the top of the page. Where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. Mike Bolin is the founder of that. Mike, I want to thank you for the work that you've been doing and I know that you also have been in contact with uh, Mike Zulo over the last uh, several months months, and uh, I, I, I know that he's been on your uh, blog talk radio program before, and uh, I believe that he's going to uh, perhaps help in this e- event as well. I think he's he's scheduled. I'm, I'm not sure if he's still going to be able to do it, but I believe he's scheduled to make a, a conference call to the folks once they gather there, correct? Uh, that's correct. He is going to make a conference call. He is the person that ran the investigation, and all this evidence was gathered by Mike. He is going to talk to us in a conference call, um, not on the political nature, strictly on a law enforcement investigation nature, right? and go over some things. He may add some information that we don't have right now. And, um, Carl, I'd like to also appeal to your audience. Everything is coming out of my pocket. There's a donate button on the site. Whatever the audience would like to give, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, it goes for printing. We're buying people. There's one gentleman coming from Florida that cannot afford the bus ticket back. We're buying him a bus ticket back. Everything is going towards helping us with this cause. And don't forget, Carl, we've come a long way, and we're at the doorsteps of Congress. Oh, I know. We're going in there the 18th and 19th, Paul. Yeah, okay. 18th and 19th. Okay. Well, folks, if you, if you need more information, uh, you want to sign up, you want to get involved, and even if you can't go, you want to download that letter and put your name to it and uh, get it back to Mike Bolin. They'll put it in with the other boxfuls of letters they have. They're going to hand deliver these to congressmen. They already have appointments with several congressmen, and they're going to hand deliver these letters to Steve Stock as well, who's kind of ramrodding this uh, among the congressmen. So Mike Bolin, where's Obama's birth certificate dot com, good friend of mine, good friend of Freedom Friday. God bless you, Mike. Thank you for what you're doing, my brother. Thank you very much, Carl, and I know your audience is going to make a difference. Okay, fantastic, man. God bless you, and we'll have you back sometime soon. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Carl. Good night. Okay, good night. All right, well, folks, you are listening to Freedom. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. <laughs> 